here we are to review step number 49 of the 67 steps by Ty Lopez. The 67 different frameworks, methodologies, habits, ideas that you need to have ingrained in your head and then turned instinctive so that you can live the good life as he calls it. Health, wealth, love and happiness and the optimization of all those things. This is review of step number 49 and it was called why Jay-Z and Warren Buffett like baseball, the ratcheting power of success. The overarching theme of this lesson is that you want to minimize the amount of mistakes you make and it gives you some ideas on how exactly you do that. Certainly everyone makes mistakes, you just want to make fewer than most. Some people argue you only learn from mistakes, but Warren Buffett pushes back on that idea and says, those mistakes don't have to be your own though. And this is a, l a little bit of contrast to the, um, one of my favorite quotes that I've heard from Tom Watson of IBM, who says, the fastest way to succeed is to double your failure rate. But the key um, idea in this lesson is to focus on this number of mistakes you make and the severity, because that's really what's relative. You know, if you close your eyes and cross the street and get hit by an 18 wheeler, that's a severe mistake that could result in your death or your uh, being paralyzed. Being a day late on your utility bill is not quite as severe. And you know, if the average entrepreneur starts and goes out of business by making 100 mistakes, and you only make 20 mistakes, your chances of success increase dramatically. So the question becomes, well, how do we minimize our mistakes? Well, Warren Buffett says that he had a professor at Wharton named Benjamin Graham, who said, Warren, what you really want to do in business is just get a whole bunch of base hits. And that's analogous to baseball. If you're familiar with the sport of baseball, there's three bases, first, second, and third, and there's home plate. You only score by getting home. And you know, some batters try to be too heroic, like maybe Manny Ramirez or Babe Ruth, where they try to get a home run and swing with everything they got every single time they're up at bat. The problem is, as your power goes up, your accuracy goes down. And nothing worse than getting up to bat, trying to be the hero and hit the home run just to strike out because you swung with all your might. So Warren Buffett says, what you really want to do is just try to get a base hit and get to first base. And this applies to not only business and your wealth, but also the other areas of health, love, and happiness. And you know, Ty gives us an example of one of his employees recently that didn't follow this methodology and as far as their health goes. They were excessively overweight and jumped right in to a exercise program and tried to hit a home run by going from couch potato to working out extremely and unfortunately pulled the muscle and then was bedridden for a month and at least in the short term wound up in worse health than they started out as and what they should have done as ty suggests is um just try to get the first base if you haven't worked out in a long time been extremely sedentary getting the first base just means working for 30 minutes every day for two weeks or something like that and if you're trying to lose a lot of weight, don't try to get a home run and lose 30 pounds in a month. Just try to lose a half a pound a week, which equates to about two pounds a month. And if you follow the Peter Drucker um, methodology of the 18 month framework, you'll lose about 36 pounds if you follow this. And if you're like most people, probably a lot of us could afford to lose about 36 pounds or somewhere around there. But, um, and you know, Getting the first base doesn't seem quite as exciting as hitting a home run and making the highlight reel, but Ty reminds us, in baseball, if every time you get up to bat you get a base hit, you'll quickly become the favorite player on the team. And that moves us to our the ratcheting system principle. Uh, a ratchet lets you uh, lock in a certain amount of tension before you try to apply more. We've all used a ratchet strap before to hold something into place. and. You know, if a rock is being pushed uphill and starts to fall towards you, inertia makes it really hard to stop. But if that rock is being pushed up over the hill and crosses the center point, 
inertia is working in your favor and it's much easier to keep that momentum going. So the key thing always is, is to uh, move in the right direction and stop moving in the wrong direction. In business, this ratcheting system or the um, baseball analogy of getting the first base would be just to stop losing money. Remember the goal in business is to be profitable. So if you stop losing money, that's already a good start. And you're only gonna know uh, if you're losing money by looking at your monthly bills or monthly expenses. And so stop losing money and then keep doing the things that are preventing you from losing money. That's ratcheting in uh, your business plan. And you know, cause trying, Ty says, cause trying to get to home run when you're not even hitting the ball is foolish. So get some positive momentum to help feed your dreams. He explains that some people think that him discouraging them from trying to hit a home run and just getting to first base is slowing them down. It's actually speeding them up and increasing the chances of their success because getting to first base in any one of your ventures is much more likely than trying to hit a home run. And you always want to plan for the most likely scenario. You know, he says if you're depressed, getting to first base means just getting out of the house, getting out of bed, and spending more time with the friends you do have. Do a little bit of things that get you out of depression to make you happy. And you know, Jim Rome has this quote at the end of this lesson that says, almost everybody can be doing better than they're doing right now. And um, his questions at the end of this lesson are, what's an example in health, wealth, or love of you trying to hit a home run? What was the end result of you trying to go too fast? And what's something in your life where you can simply go for a base hit? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in review number 50. Take care.